Oh. All right, so we've got an interesting computer here for us today. Check this thing out. All right. I picked this computer up the other day. Nice kid. The listing said that it was a broken cyber power computer. Now, I don't know if it's broken just because it doesn't have a CPU or if it's broken because something in here actually is broken. Now, apart from the obvious that the CPU cooler is has just hung itself, the computer itself is very dirty. The cable management, while this case is going to be difficult to cable manage in, the cable management is pretty bad. It also has an Insignia power supply, and I didn't know that Insignia made power supplies, so this is a first for me. Now, it does have short cables, so I'm, I'm a little hesitant to think that it's going to work well uh, to make it at least look better. Obviously, this CPU cable is not going to work just running right in the front here, but it is also running on some strange graphics card. It's very small. I'm, I don't know what it is. When we take it out, I'm sure I can figure that out. But the graphics card's got to go. So this computer is going to get three upgrades. It's going to get a CPU because it doesn't have one. It's going to get a brand new graphics card because I don't know what that thing is, but it's it's not going to do anything for us. And then it's also going to get an upgrade to the RAM. The RAM in here is uh, 8 gigs, uh, 13, 33 megahertz. It's pretty bad. It's not going to perform well. I don't have two 8 gig sticks to make it 16 gigs for this. I do, however, have an additional 8 gigs, but it's faster memory. Hopefully that'll be enough to get us some decent performance out of the computer. But now that we've gone ahead and gone through the entire system, let's go ahead and let's get all this stuff out so we can assess the damage here. So everything's out of the system now. It's not nearly as dirty as some of the computers that we've gone ahead and cleaned. But while I was taking this thing apart, I got curious and I wanted to see if I could find how much this sold for online because it is a pre-built computer. There had to have been information online about how much this sold for. Now, I couldn't find this exact model, but I found something very similar. I mean, it was almost the exact same computer. And this thing was selling for $600, $600 for this. This is, that is, I run a discord. If you're not part of the discord, the link is in the description below, but that is terrible. Now in that discord, people talk about buying pre-builds all the time. Now buying a pre-built computer is fine. If you feel like that's the way you want to go and you don't want to put together your own computer and piece everything together and do the research, that's fine. You don't have to. But just know that when you buy a pre-built, you are getting, I, it almost feels like you're getting robbed. I mean, this for $600, for over $600, I bought this 
Now, don't get me wrong. It's in, it's not in great shape, but the guy that I bought it from sold it to me for $40 and $40 is a good deal in my eyes for this kind of computer that doesn't have a great GPU, uh, didn't even have a CPU, but for $40, you could buy what was $600 and you could put $600 worth of stuff in it and it would run leagues better than what this is going to do. Um, just so just if you're going to buy a pre-built, please understand what you're getting into. Most of the time you could get way better results from building it yourself. And, and, and it's really not that difficult. If you need help with that, watch my videos. It's not all that complicated. But now that I have gone ahead and ranted about this thing, let's go ahead and let's get it cleaned up. So one quick second while I have you, we are going to be changing the day that our main video comes out. It will no longer be coming out at Friday at 4.30. It will be coming out on Saturday at noon. Uh, the reason being is that I have a much bigger audience during the weekends and I wanted to make sure that when the video launches, it's at the peak time to capture as many eyes as humanly possible. Um, but, so that's what you're gonna see now is you're going to see our main video come out and on Saturday at noon, and then we will still have our Wednesday video at 4.30, just like we usually do. Another thing real quick is that our Wednesday videos are no longer going to be time-lapse footage. The Wednesday videos are going to be the in-depth benchmarking uh, videos of the computer that we did clean. So we will clean the computer, and then on Wednesday we will do uh, video game testing. We will talk about the different components. We'll see what each each thing is capable of doing, the temperatures, all that good stuff. So that way you as, as somebody who's watching, maybe somebody who's interested in building a computer has a little bit more knowledge on the individual components 
that are in a computer and how they will perform in whatever games it is that you want to play. Now, I'm not going to stop doing time-lapse footage. We will be adding a third video into the week. We will do a Monday video now that will be the time-lapse footage of the cleaning. So that way that is still there. So that if that is something that you really enjoy and you like listening to the music and watching me disassemble and clean something, uh, then I will absolutely continue to do that. When I have the footage of deep cleaning a computer, I will go ahead and I will release that every Monday. Now, ladies and gentlemen, while I do love starting a project and finishing it the same day, that's not going to happen today. I need to go to bed because I am exhausted. But luckily for you, it's not gonna matter because we're gonna get right back into it anyway. So let's go ahead and let's put this all back together. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now it's probably not gonna come as a shock to anyone when I say that water and electricity don't really go together very well. But if you are going to take your case outside and spray it with a hose or put it in your bathtub, you want to make sure you give it at least like a 24 hour period to dry. Uh, if you're not going to give it that 24 hours, make sure that you rub the whole thing down with a towel and then get a, a hair dryer or something and, and try to make sure that you've gotten every single bit of water out of there because leaving any water in here is going to be a terrible idea when you go to turn on your system. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here she is. She is 100% hooked up, ready to rock and roll. The only thing there is left to do is turn it on. Before we do that, let's talk about a couple things that took place while we were building this system. First off, the new RAM that I wanted to put in, unfortunately, the clearance 
is too tall for these. Uh, the RAM that's in there is just a generic green, ugly RAM. But this Zelman cooler is uh, low profile and it's wide and these are not gonna fit in. You cannot get the CPU cooler on if these RAM sticks are in there. So in order for me to upgrade this RAM, I will have to either change out the, the fan, the CPU cooler, or I'm gonna have to find some more powerful, uh, just basic looking RAM. So as far as the graphics card that was originally in this system is concerned, I did go ahead and clean it. Uh, it, it there is no footage on, on here of me doing that, but I did go ahead, take it apart, I cleaned it, and I put some new thermal paste on it. When we do the benchmarking and when we, when we take a deeper look into this system, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in just to show that this computer was over $600 brand new. And I wanna see what it was capable of before I went ahead and did my thing to it. I, I, I wanna show what a $600 system that you can still purchase at Walmart today is actually capable of. Now you are gonna have to excuse the cable management. These cases don't have the ability to hide anything. And just like I talked about in the case swap video that we did, when it comes to swapping your cases with pre-built systems like Hewlett Packards and anything like that, the wires for your power supply are always short and they're made that way to only fit into a, the, a, a specific case. Now, this is the power supply that came with this computer and the wires were still too short even to run uh, in this case that it came in. It was uh, impressive. To put this graphics card in, I had to run the CPU cable up behind the graphics card and into the corner here. And that is all the room it has. It, it, it couldn't be pulled any further. So, that, you know, always make sure that your power supply, especially if you're going to be working in a, or doing any upgrades or anything like that, make sure your power supply can accommodate what you're trying to do. But now that we've talked about that, let's see if this thing will fire up and we can get a post from it. I have not done anything to this computer other than assemble it and it has power to the power supply, but let's go ahead and see if this thing will actually run. Fingers crossed, everybody. All right, fans are spinning, graphics card spinning. Give me an image. Come on. Woo, all right. So I think we're at like five or six computers in a row without an issue, which is impressive to me because you would figure with the systems being uh, in the condition that they are in when I get them, you figure that those systems wouldn't work or I'd have more troubleshooting to do, but they, they all work just fine so far. But ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed me putting this thing back together. I'm honestly shocked that it actually works. The listing that we got, it said it was broken and it's not broken, it just was incomplete. If you are new here and you like the video, please consider subscribing. All subscribers for this channel go to a good cause. The bigger this channel gets, the closer we get to being able to donate these computers to viewers and subscribers of this channel. Hopefully people who need computers. If you have not done so, please hit the card up above and watch the giveaway video so that you can enter to win the first giveaway computer on this channel. But ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna do it for me. Thank you so much for being here. If you learned something, that's awesome. I'm so happy. If you didn't learn anything, well, at least I hope I was able to entertain you for at least a few hours. I am gonna be releasing the time-lapse footage of us building this computer on Monday, and I will also see you on Wednesday for a deeper look into this old computer. I hope I see you there. Perfect.